Who likes Boa Fett out there? Boa Fett's pretty cool. He doesn't say all that much. He's very mysterious. He has all these gadgets, a cool helmet. But what if I were to tell you that he was introduced in the worst Star Wars related thing to exist ever? Today, we're going to be talking about the Star Wars Holiday Special. I know I'm kind of late on this one. Everybody was talking about this a couple of years ago. But this is such a gem that since everyone's going to be talking about Star Wars now, I just couldn't pass it up. It's so, so bad. <laughs> Could this get worse? I don't think this could get worse. It just makes sense to talk about the holiday special because Christmas is right around the corner. Everybody's complaining about the rise of Skywalker. Well, guess what, guys? Daddy Elvis is here to remind you all that it could always be worse. And God damn it, it was much worse. So I made sure to record every second of me watching this thing. And oh my God, it is so boring at some parts. And despite knowing that I was being recorded, I couldn't help but look at my phone during some parts because it's so unbelievably boring. I know it was a different time back then and maybe people were more patient, but oh my God, some of these scenes, it seems like they last for a, a lifetime. I could feel myself aging. <laughs> God, is this gonna go on for like an hour? You know, before watching this, I was blissfully ignorant of uh, Chewie's family, but you guys know George, he likes to explore literally every single centimeter of his universe. Down to every fine little detail, he's gotta go in there with a massive microscope. Hey, what's this? The DeLoreans are a microscopic life form that resides within all living cells. It's not cute, George, it's cringe. It's okay to leave some things up to the imagination, all right? That's fine. Apparently, George Lucas hates the holiday special, and that's okay, you know. We've all been there. We've all made things that we're not especially proud of. But let it be known that it was George Lucas's vision to have the Wookiees be the centerpiece. He's got like a weird hard-on for Bigfoot creatures or something. As if it wasn't bad enough that you have to sit there and listen to these apes moan at each other for like 10 minutes straight. There's no subtitles! So you just kind of have to guess what they're saying to each other. <laughs> what are they saying? There's no subtitles. <laughs> they're just going meh, meh. So the special is based in Kashyyyk. You get to spend a lot of time with Chewbacca's family. There's Mala, Itchy, and Lumpy. <laughs> Lumpy is a little legend. Look at the way he bounces down these stairs. <laughs> Oh my god, and his face. <laughs> Itchy is just an abominable snowman with an underbite, and Mala is just tall girl in a furry suit. Lumpy watches like this dance performance on a small projector thing. It seems like it goes on for an hour, and I know they wanted to make it seem very futuristic, but the music is ear grating. It sucks. What is this music? It sounds like if you gave like a toddler a piano and put it on the techno setting and they just like hammered on it. That's what you get. And the way Lumpy's looking at these performers, it's so weird. He's like, yes. Do it, yes. <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? Then Mala watches a cooking tutorial. Because if there's anything I wanted to see in a Star Wars film, it's a Wookiee following a cooking tutorial. Why? Why, George? I mean, I guess that's my main question for this. There's so many instances throughout this special where I'm just like... Why? If possibly our family has a hearty appetite, I would suggest them their own popular holiday favorite, the panther rump. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? I mean, I guess we learn that Mala likes to cook. Stir, 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 stir. <laughs> I guess she's cooking and she's preparing for Life Day, which is the Wookiee Christmas. <laughs> I mean, it is funny, but not in the way they intended it to be funny.
Am I dreaming? Is this a nightmare? Do whip, do whip, 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 do. Then, uh, Itchy watches VR ASMR porn. I wish I was joking. Now, we can have a good time. What? Is this VR porno? It's the weirdest thing ever created. Am I on drugs? What is happening? Oh, yes. I can feel my creation. <laughs> Why would George think it'd be a good idea to have Chewie's dad, like, jerk it to some random human female? Like, why do you have to play the entire goddamn song? Like, 10, 15 seconds would be perfectly fine. George, what is this? I can't believe this exists. This minute, when will this be over? I'm torturing myself. Come on, George, you're killing me here. And I'm not joking. She sings to him for what feels like 30 minutes straight. It's just like I almost fell asleep. God damn it. Why is Star Wars all of a sudden a musical? If I could just hold it just doesn't end. Oh my god. And I know they're trying to be super cool with the editing in some of these scenes. And maybe for the time, it was really impressive. But now it just comes across, like, <laughs> super cringy. So the Empire infiltrates the Wookiee's home. It's basically that one scene from Inglorious Bastards, but a uh, furry version. <laughs> this reminds me of Nazis looking for Jews or something. So the big black helmet trooper guy watches a concert pretty much like a little tiny concert right in a box this is another dance routine this is some more dancing or singing oh god here we go and he watches the entire goddamn concert like they don't just show it to us for a second and then move on it's like we got to experience the concert, you know? We got to sit there right next to him and watch it, like, the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Can I fast forward this part? Jeez. Yeah, we really need to see the whole concert. This is what I want to see. This guy's really engrossed by this. He's like, yeah. This is awesome. Now, I don't know what it is about this special in particular. I mean, maybe George was just like obsessed with the little chess board with like the, the real moving creatures on it. Maybe he liked that so much that he wanted to replicate that a thousand times. What better way to do that than to make a holiday special, like a musical version of Star Wars, and just like put like 15 billion performances in it and have you watch the entire goddamn thing. Like, holy shit, I'm sitting there. I'm just like, I could have someone sucking my dick and I'd still be bored watching this. Come on, dude. <laughs> Then a random animation happens. No idea why. Maybe they just didn't have time to film this part. Ironically, it's the best part about this whole thing. It was probably pretty impressive animation for the time. But damn, is it silly as fuck today. <laughs> R2 is just made of liquid. And the faces of Luke and Han Solo are so goony. And this is when we're introduced to Boba Fett. Uh, he's riding a, a brontosaurus in tomato sauce. <laughs> And to add on to the ever-growing list of pointless scenes, there's a scene of a bartender telling all the people in the bar that they gotta leave because the Empire says so. And they don't want to leave, so she sings them a song. Of course. And it lasts for an hour. Of course. And then they all finally leave, and that's the scene. God, it is so painful to watch. More singing! Stop! Just let me know when she's fucking done. God damn it. God, 
gotta make this last because this scene is awesome. I really want to see more of this. I mean, the scene didn't really serve a point, but let's be fair. Did any scene serve a point in this special? Now you stay just as long as you want. Oh, and uh, she hugs a massive rat too. So I just thought I'd mention that. I feel like this holiday special is just a culmination of a bunch of things that George Lucas thought would be cute in the Star Wars universe. He's like, oh, we haven't really seen Chewie's family yet. That'd be cute. Let's put that in. Let's center it on them too, because everybody loves Chewbacca, right? Let's focus so much on the Chewie, like the one character you can't understand. So he took all these things that I thought were cute, right? And he just smashed them together. And then he just calls it this holiday special. Maybe George was really into all these musicians at the time, and he was like, they would really like to be in Star Wars, I bet. <laughs> so let, let's put them in Star Wars. You know what Star Wars needs? It needs music. A lot of music, and a lot of really bad music, and needs to be playing for at least 10 minutes straight. That's what Star Wars needs. And it needs a big rat. <laughs> Han shows up and meets the Wookiee family. He's very cunning, and you can tell because in this scene, he tricks a stormtrooper into uh, tripping through a wooden fence. Like, he just kind of, like, falls through it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Was it taped together with scotch tape? I mean, what? How? how? What? So Chewie ignores his son, and he goes up to his wife, and they have a very strange heart-to-heart. -heart. And it's so awkward, because they can't convey emotion at all. They can't even speak. So what you have is just two people in bear costumes moaning at each other and staring at each other. <laughs> <laughs> they have no way of expressing emotion, so... All they can do is zoom up the camera up on their faces. <laughs> and this is the, the Life Day celebration. Where are they going? They're all walking into this big ball of light. Makes sense. And these dumb humans are there too. And Leia decides, hey, this is my celebration now, and I'm gonna sing. So <laughs> listen to me sing, everybody. No one asked for this, Leia. Shut your mouth. This day will always be a day of joy, which we can reconfirm our dedication and our courage, and more than anything else, our love for one another. So deep. This is the promise of the tree of life. So true. Oh God, more singing. No, <laughs> more singing. Oh God. Please have Harrison Ford sing. <laughs> That'd be so funny. And then it finally ends with the Wookiee family praying to uh, to Wookiee Jesus before eating their meal. Yeah, there you go. That's the, that's the Star Wars holiday special. I think it's so bad it's good. I think it's in that category, like with the room, you know? You can kind of watch it and laugh at it, but at the same time, it's really boring. Like a lot of it is really boring. It's also like really charming. I, I don't know how to feel about it. It's just so, it's so weird. Like what the fuck was that, George? <laughs> What? Isn't that a thing only Jedi say? Anyway, I just thought I'd bring us back in time a little bit because everybody's focused on the rise of Skywalker and they're all hating on that right now. Just thought I'd lighten the mood a little bit. That'll do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Come back soon. I'll be waiting. Stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 stir. Very nice. Now, step two, while we're stirring, we also whip. Mm. So it's stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Come on, faster all together now. Cooking can be fun. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Wah! Having fun, having fun, all right? Coming along nicely now. Step three. Of course, if your family has a hearty appetite, I would suggest then that old popular holiday favorite, the Bantha Rump. <laughs>